Yeah, now fellas, here we go. We got something from Belgium. We got the Belgian flag on there. Triple Moin. Anno 1858. Since 7.5 Golden Blonde Beer. Golden Blonde Beer. Beer Blonde Dory. You're kidding. You got a bit of fucking French in there as well. No. All right, bit of a ride up. Let's give it a crack. Oh, look at that. That looks absolutely lovely. That's what we were after. Do some looking beer. Cheers, guys. Had one down a pub, but anyway. Not the first for the day, first at home for the day. Alright. It's got that pretty typical, um, I think it's like a Belgian yeast flavour. Sometimes it can be a bit too much. That's not bad. I think the, um, I like the left triple better. Yeah, isn't it funny? Certain ones. It's like, I think there's the Dutch one. They do a quad and I don't like it. They're triple better. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, all right, look. I'm not going to rave about it because it's not worth raving. It's not a raving beer. I'm raving mad, but the beer's not that raving. I'm not going to rave about it. I bought two of those. And I bought three of these other ones that I like better. Le Chofre. Anyway. I've done videos on the Le Chofres. I think there's three of them I've done videos on. Not sure which one I picked, there's a bit of a rush, grab it and run. But, um, yeah, this is alright. Strong blonde beer, seven and a half. And it's funny, because the Duvel blonde, I think that's six and a half. I don't like it. It's weird, isn't it? The white label with the red writing, I don't like it. It's funny, so... Like left, I think they only make the triple at Cronenberg, and all the others are made at another brewery. Um, yeah, so that's why you get a different hit, I guess. Well, this is eh, tasting better than when I first opened, and it's weird. Some taste better after a while, and some taste better first drink, and then they taste flat, and or go off, or taste weird. This is tasting better. I'm talking myself into it so I can have the other one. Now I'm getting a little bit more sweetness instead of that yeasty taste. So that's not bad. Alright, what's everyone up to for the weekend? Um, I didn't put that video up the other day, I did, because I went on a huge rant. Been a bit busy, so I haven't had a chance to, um, you know, go through it and maybe chop a bit, cut a bit out, or just put the fucking thing up and get banned, shadow banned. I'm not kidding, again. Alright, we'll see what we can come up with. Today was alright. Yeah, not a bad day. No rain for a change. We've got a bit of pollen, though. The old wattle and uh, pine pollen are still given all oh, this a tad of hay fever this hay fever well, I probably had a hangover this morning but I drank wine and then I drank whiskey which is a bit of a no-no they don't mix too well but I woke up a bit puffy like from the hay fever more than the hangover I reckon <laughs> they're not funny if you just drink beers like I drank 17 standard drinks of beers the other day eight beers and didn't have a hangover, felt fine. Last night I had probably 
five glasses of wine and then about probably six, seven shots of whiskey. So I don't know if it was a hangover or a bloody just uh, the hay fever. Anyway, don't mix your drinks, guys. Mixing your drinks, you somehow end up fucking wicked hangover sometimes. All right, I'll leave you with it. I'll go and get uh, dinner ready, I guess. All right, cheers, guys.